Or just a plain one. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. And as a result, we now have a serving vessel. So let's put some of the pine. The meringue looks tasty. In there. Let's put some of the hair in there. Uh, hairy. And let's put some of the pepper in mm, there. Peppery goodness. And now it's disgusting. So let's eat it. Helps them. Really? The, ah, brain freeze. the pepper's the, the part that helps. <laughs> and that is the end of part five. We're on to part six now. Guy brush kicks butt once again. We just move on into the ride. We just automatically happen to see that. We have a three-headed monkey, Ter Herman Toothrot, and the rope. I believe that is supposed to be from the first game. We have Rapscallion, uh, Young Lindy, Captain Captain Marley. Uh, these are the ones that had the uh, had the map in the first place. Uh, then we have some stuff that I can't really for me to get out. I can't really look at. Can Too I? Late for me to get out. I can't really get out anywhere here. Huh. There we go. Where are they? So let's look at all these things. I had a feeling he'd turn up sooner or later. The three-headed monkey is back. How you doing, Herman Toothrot? It's a mechanical Herman Toothrot. Can I talk to him? This one doesn't talk. Thank you, technology. Can I do something with the rope here? It's a sturdy piece of rope. Can I pick it up? I get the rope, and we have the hanging corpse. It's the rotting captain of Herman Tooth Rot's ship. Oh, hooray. Nah. Ow. He doesn't want to talk to it. Okay, let's... Well, I can't get any of this stuff on the ground, which is really what I want. So now we have to wait for another thing to go by. If you wait too long, though... Just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't be believe that I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, so I can flame broil. <laughs> no. Just. Uh oh. Ouch. Ow. Just jump onto the next one. Jump out here. All right, let's see what I can do here. Do we have anything that I want? Let's uh, talk to it. Nah. No, he doesn't want it's to talk Rap to anybody. Scallion, the forgetful Weenie Hut restaurant tour. He was quite forgetful, wasn't he? Oh, come on, man. Ah, you again. If you've written me, Coaster, why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? Hmm. Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> but curses if I can't help but love the little woman. She's my little woman. Death, my good. I want, I want, no. Oh. I wanted to get something there. I wanted to get the rum, so I'm going to have to go all the way through it again, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to show what it was first, but I don't want to do it twice. Unfortunately, that seems like what I'm going to have to do. We're just going to slowly go through these a little bit. Hopefully, me going through this once will give me a little bit more time before LeChuck shows up. I kind of wanted to see what he had to say about all these things, but that's not going to happen, apparently. Come on, just let me out here on this next one. Let me out. And we'll grab the keg of rum like I was supposed to do. So now I do have rum and a fallen rope. Soggy paper cone because it melted on me. Are, are we going to be able to get on this next one? Thank you. 
Now let's get out here. And we will grab this lantern. Uh, blow. Now pick it up. There we go. We got the, we got the oil out of that. It's a Dynamo Monk Electric Wally. Hey, Gad, he looks so lifelike. Hey, wait a minute. He really is Wally. Ah, I knew it. Hold on for one second, though. Okay, we should be good. I should have a little bit of time here to, life -like. I mean, death -like. to look at all this stuff. Well, I'm glad to see that I'm featured among the attractions here. You should be. You did some good work. But we are done here. Are they going to have... Yeah. He's coming again. Oh, no, it's LeChuck. I, Freakwood. It be me. Your worst nightmare. You'll be sorry you ever set foot here on Monkey Island when I'm through with you. I doubt that. I'm just gonna let him do it again. There's really nothing I can do at this point. Uh oh. Back yeah. on the coffin car. Wow. To the next ex exhibit. Hopefully, he gives me a little bit of time here because I need to do some work here. Let's walk to the back. Because, like I said, I need to do a little bit of work. I need to walk up here where we can find a giant snow monkey. Because this is the Matterhorn, if you haven't been able to figure it out. Uh, let's pour some rum on the monkey. I have a plan. Let's use the fallen rope with the oil. Yeah, it's soaked in oil and probably highly flammable. That sounds good to me. Use I can't use the oily rope with that. How about with the rum, then? Cool. Okay. I think we are set and ready for my master plan. If you could, yeah, thank you. One more step and you would come down here. I think we are ready. I hope we are ready. Just have to wait for it now. The one time I want him to show up, he's not showing up. Get over here, LeChuck. I'm ready for you. Come on, man. There we go. Ever has to move. I need to show up, I guess. LeChuck's back again. Oh no! I'll be chasing around this roller coaster till you be my undead slave, Freakwood. I have pepper. And we have done it! Run, mortal, but do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you. Do you hear me? I shall return. <laughs> and that's the game. Hopefully, this is so unfair. Murray doesn't do too much to hurt me in the later games of which there's just really one and then i would say a remake sequel but that is the game that is the curse of monkey island this has been quite fun for me uh this is a game that i never beat as a kid but i have grown to enjoy it the more that i do play it Karen mcgovern why does that sound familiar to me but this game well, it's a, it's a suitable sequel. I think that the graphical improvements 
over the years were good. In terms of graphics for a computer game at the time, these were quite good. Now, I know you can compare them to the consoles that were going on at the time, but at that point, I would say that uh, PC games were definitely lagging behind in capabilities as opposed to the console games. So I would say that they're still pretty good for the time being. Uh, the voice acting and the sense of humor through the voice acting I thought were incredibly good especially for point and clicks I think that the humor is usually the selling point of a lot of point and clicks and I think the Monkey Island series sets the bar for that and this has lived up to that expectation I would say it did kind of lag at points because of the extensive amount of voice acting that was put into the game but partially that is because of me and my desire to show off all the different voice acting lines that were in the game but overall I still think that it is definitely worth the time. I did really enjoy the game. The gameplay, of course, still requires a lot of the twisted logic that you come to expect from Monkey Island, especially when it comes to that hangover cure with the egg, the pepper, and the... What was it? The hair of the dog that bit you. Which is not how hangover cures work at all. But you start to understand the logic as you get through, hopefully. There's still a little bit of challenge if you're not thinking along those lines from time to time. But overall, I think the game's difficulty is right around where it should be for a game like this. So I did definitely have a lot of fun doing it. I would definitely say that this game is probably about an eight and a half out of 10 if I were to give it a score, which I'm always hesitant to do. But if I were, that would be right around where it is. Very good game, lots of fun to play, especially if you're a fan of the style. If you're not a fan of the style, of course, you probably won't be a fan of this game, but the style is definitely good in my opinion. Both the style of the graphics, which is a drastic change, but I think a change for the better from the second game in the series, which was Monkey Island 2, Le Chuck's Re Revenge. I kept on trying to think of the blank of Monkey Island. Which one was that? No, it's just Le Chuck's Revenge. But huge improvements in terms of graphics. Uh, they did add the voice acting, which weren't present in the original versions of the other games. As far as I remember, they, they weren't there. But I did have a lot of fun. Oh, I thought for a second it said James Woods. No, James Wood. He is not nearly as influential. We are getting close to the end of the credits, I would hope, but I did have a lot of fun playing it. I would recommend it, but only if you have played the other games first. You don't want to start in the middle, of course. This is not one of those series where you can just pick it up wherever you want. I would say that this is one that would it would help, at least, if you started from the beginning. You don't absolutely have to, but you could. Special thanks to George Lucas and for letting us do all the Star Wars references that we did in the game. And, oh, Brett Barrett died. But with that done... This carnival is great, Dad. It sure is, son. But you know, rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. Well, that wasn't very nice. The game just closed on me with LeChuck, for the most part, vanquished with Elaine and Guybrush now married and on their own adventure. That is going to do it for Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you guys have enjoyed the entire Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.